Greetings, everyone. It is package opening time again on the Multimedia Chronicles. <sighs> and it is freaking boiling. Ah. Oh, that's so much better. You, you don't mind if I just film the video like this, right? It, this feels way better. No? Okay, fine. Farewell, fan. We shall meet again soon. Anyway, this is a huge, hefty package from Morgan of Morgan Entertainment. I've actually had this sitting in the pile for I don't even know how long now, like way too long. It was kind of an out of sight, out of mind thing. I set it aside and then kept forgetting about it. So, sorry, Morgan. Better late than never. <laughs> so without any further ado, I think we've waited more than long enough. Let's see what Morgan sent this time around, today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back. All right, let's not waste any more time. Box cutter activated. That, that's a little better. Okay. Now, uh, address is on this side here. Hold on. I'm just going to remove it real quick. You can't see. There. Oh, and uh, got to take the this off too because it has... My postal code. This way, just in case I accidentally show the address side or something, it, you know, I don't have to worry about cutting it out later. I like these package openings to be as minimal as possible in terms of editing. Uh, just kind of fire it up and go and then throw some titles on it and call it a day. Alrighty, here we go. Let's see what we got. To do. Do, 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 do. Very careful not to destroy the contents. Okie dokie. Holy moly. Pile on pile of stuff. Ugh. Okay. Let's see what we got here. We got a stack, a stack of Blu rays. Two stacks of Blu rays. Holy shit. And we got some toys. We got toys. Check it out. Let's see what we got here. Little baggie full of toys. We got, oh my god, they're like minifigures of comic book figures. That's awesome. So we got a uh, little Black Mantis. Check that out. Set him here. We got, I don't know who all these characters are. We got this cool armored fish dude. Yeah, the adventures of armored fish dude. And we got... I'm guessing these are all from Aquaman. I haven't seen Aquaman yet. We got this uh, armored guard dude with fins. These are very cool. I don't know who any of them are, but they're very. They look really cool. Oh, armored fish spaceman deep sea diver dude. I love him. He's my favorite. And we got hey this guy. I know this is Star Lord. A little mini Star Lord. Very nice. And we got uh, the girl creature from the Black Lagoon. <laughs> Is this a stand or something? Oh, no. Hold on. We got somebody. Oh, I know. This oh, shit. Sorry. Sorry, heroes and possibly some villains. Let me uh, stand you all back up there. Okay, here we go. And we got a little, little teeny tiny Rick's portal gun. There you go. Yeah, anyway. All right, cool, excellent. And wait, there's more. Another baggie of toys. Let's see who we got here. We have, oh, hey, this guy I know. We got Aquaman. There you go. Very nice. 
Now we can have the adventures of Aquaman and Star-Lord. Oh, and hey, it looks like the kind of like the ar the silver armored fish guy, but a clear blue one. Or like, you know, aquamarine blue green one, kind of. There you go. And we got we got Drax. There you go, a little mini Drax. Very nice. Put him uh, next to Star-Lord there. And we got, oh, this is Armored Aquaman. Got a lot of Aquaman figures. I really should see that movie, and then I might know who all these characters are. There we go. And we got this dude, angry, blonde, cocky dude, who's probably a jerk in the movie, I'm guessing, because the blonde, cocky guys are always jerks in every movie ever. And then finally we have, oh, this guy's kind of a smart ass. You can tell from his smirk. We have uh, this guy, uh, also armored. So all of these uh, dudes here, let me give you a close-up look so you can really see them in all their glory here. Let's see. There we go. Sorry for the janky pan. This isn't a very good panning tripod. There you go. Oh look, she's like looking up at Aquaman longingly. <laughs> and there's cocky blonde dude. There you go. I think he's jealous. Anyway. Very nice. Got lots of lots of cool figures there, and one day I will know who they all are. Uh. Okay. Oh. Okay. So I should probably put them all back in the baggies because I need the shelf space for other stuff. So, back in the bag you go, fish people. Excellent. Very cool. I have a... I don't really have a means to display figurines, so for now they're... They basically... I have a designated box for, uh, for little figures like this, and I keep them safe and dust-free. And, uh... One day when I have a bigger place, I'll probably get some kind of display cabinet for all the toys that you guys have sent me over the years. I keep them all. I have every single one that you guys have ever sent me. And uh, one day I will find a way to display them appropriately. All right. Let's see what other goodies we got here. Ugh. Well, next up we have... Well, let's check out the movies. We got stacks and stacks of movies here. Nice. We have 22 Jump Street. Was it you, Morgan, who sent me 21 Jump Street a while ago? Because I really enjoyed that a lot. I thought it was hilarious. Like, it was far more entertaining than I was expecting it to be. And I've been wanting to see the second one for a while. So, thank you very much. Definitely going to enjoy that. Oh, forgot Rick's portal gun. I'll put that, put that in there with the... The little dudes. There we go. Okay. I know to, uh, someone sent me 21 Jump Street a while ago. I just, I don't remember. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't buy this. This has been like in and out of my Amazon cart so much. Been wanting to check it out forever. Definitely fills a gap in my uh, DC movie collection. We have Shazam! With the lenticular cover. Very cool. I don't know which way. Anyway, very cool. I've heard nothing but good things about this. Um, I remember watching the trailer when it first came out. I thought it looked like an absolute blast. So uh, definitely looking forward to that. Oh, what is this? Catfish. The real Facebook movie. Who needs friendship when you have friends? Oh, what's what is it? I've never even heard of this. What's this about? 
There's more killer suspense in this one-of-a-kind film than you'll find in a dozen thrillers. It pushes every button. Don't let anyone spoil this story. Okay, in late 2007, filmmakers Ariel Schulman and Henry Joost sensed a story unfolding as they began to film the life of Ariel's brother, Nev. They had no idea that their project would lead to the most exhilarating and unsettling months of their lives. A reality thriller that is a shocking product of our times, Catfish is a riveting story of love, deception, and grace within a labyrinth of online intrigue. Ooh, this sounds cool. I, I It's funny because... Um, I've I've been watching movies kind of along these these lines, ones that are uh, kind of thrillers and horror movies in the social media age, uh, like the Unfriended movies. I just watched the second one recently. I watched one the other day called The Den, which was all about that sort of thing. Uh, both both of those are kind of like dark web type stuff, but very much to do with social media and social in, uh, media type interaction, chat sites, and things like that. Very cool. So that's that. I've never even heard of that one. So yeah, I will definitely enjoy checking that one out. Hey, here we go. We have Hellboy. Give evil hell. The new Hellboy. That is awesome. I have not seen this one. Um, I still haven't seen uh, Golden Army, the second Hellboy movie. I know this is not a sequel to those. This is a this is a new version heard kind of mixed reviews on this i love that uh, i think david harbour looks amazing as hellboy and i really like david harbour to begin with so i think uh if anyone was going to step into the role again he was a good choice for that um this is supposed to be more faithful to the comics but fans seemed kind of divided on it like they they like the movie version that guillermo del toro did better but i don't know I'm just going to take it as its own thing. It's just a fresh take on Hellboy, and I'll just take it as its own thing and and see if I like it. So definitely going to enjoy checking that out. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, this is why i got to open packages more promptly. We have the double bill of Iron Man Extremis and Spider-Woman, Agent of Sword. I just bought this. <laughs> Oops! Well, maybe I'll I'll give this to one of my friends who does not have it, and then we can we can all enjoy it. But uh, yeah, very cool. The Marvel Knights Motion Comics series. I bought the only two Blu-rays that they had. I got this one, and then there was the one with the X-Men stories on it as well. So uh, next up, we have another reason I really need to open these packages promptly. We have Spider-Man: Far From Home. Which I also just bought recently, so thank you. I'm an idiot. <laughs> that's that's two I could have saved money on. On the plus side, these two were not very expensive, so there we go. Next up we have... Oh, nice. This I have not bought. I have been wanting to see this. Huge fan of Quentin Tarantino. We have Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Fantastic. Oh, I'm going to... Uh, definitely be checking this one out um i've seen every one of his movies except this one this is the only one i haven't seen the most recent one so uh yeah i understand it's basically kind of a love letter to the new hollywood of the 70s and uh you know which was a huge influential era for hollywood and for creativity and uh and you know auteur directors really getting to be in the spotlight um yeah definitely going to enjoy checking this one out thank you very much for that let's just shove these over a little bit and next up oh my god yes holy shit thank you so much we have the limited edition steelbook of the original texas chainsaw massacre thank you so much i i used to have the dvd of this and i've been wanting to upgrade it to blu-ray for ages and just kept putting off, putting off, putting off. This is beautiful. Um, wow, it's, holy shit, it's got four commentary tracks on it. Wow. Two of which have Toby Hooper. Awesome. Well, this is going to be great. Yeah, I haven't actually seen this in a long time. I also, I have the second one sitting up on my shelf, which I haven't watched yet. I've never seen the second one. I haven't seen any of the sequels or remakes, actually. I've only ever seen the first one. 
Um, but one of the reasons I held off watching is because I wanted to see uh, the original again because I hadn't seen the original in so long. So fantastic. Thank you so much. This is such a great movie. Classic, classic horror. And I really need to get off my butt and see the rest of them. Um, I understand some of the sequels and even some of the remakes are actually quite good. Next up, we have two copies of the same issue of Cinefix Magazine. As I recall, you sent me a stack of these before as well. Very cool. I love these movie magazines. So we have Friend or Foe, Jake Gyllenhaal Talks Spider-Man Far From Home. Yes, well, he's Mysterio. We know Mysterio is a foe. I'm pretty sure that was a surprise to nobody. <laughs> Very cool. Next up, we have, oh, for the Batman collection, we got Batman White Knight. I have not read this one. So, let's see here. It says, I think I've heard of this one, though. The Joker Goes Sane. Set in a world where the clown prince of crime has been cured of his madness, Batman White Knight follows the man now known as Jack Napier, as he embarks on a quest to heal the city he once terrorized. After reconciling with his long-suffering partner, Harley Quinn, he sets in motion a carefully plotted campaign to discredit the one person whom he views as Gotham City's true enemy, Batman. Oh, this sounds good. His crusade exposes a decades-long history of corruption within the Gotham City Police Department and transforms Napier into a city councilman and civic hero. Napier... Uh, but when the sins of his past return to threaten everything that he has accomplished, the distinctions, distinctions between Savior and Destroyer begin to break down for both the Joker and Batman alike, and with them, any hope for Gotham's future. Superstar writer and artist Sean Murphy... Oh, is this written and drawn by one guy? Oh, wow, nice. I love, like, single creator stuff like that. Like, uh, uh, Mike Grell is a huge uh, one, for, and Frank Miller would be another one. Uh, Sean Murphy, and Sean is spelled S-E-A-N, by the way, <laughs> uh, delivers an extraordinary examination of comics' greatest antagonists in Batman White Knight, exploring justice, corruption, activism, and the darkest depths of mental illness. Collecting the acclaimed eight-issue miniseries, this stunning graphic novel also marks the debut of the DC Black Label imprint. Oh, that was the one that um, basically replaced Vertigo. That's cool. So this is the first ever Black Label comic. That's cool. Um, which features classic DC characters in all new standalone stories written and illustrated by world-class authors and artists. That's interesting. So I guess it's kind of like um, Elseworlds in a way. So it's kind of... Oh, this looks awesome. Oh, man. Nice. Oh, yeah. I, I'm definitely going to enjoy this. Thank you. Thank you very much for that one. Holy shit. And last, but most definitely not least, holy moly, this is quite the tome, we have Stranger Things, Worlds Turned Upside Down, the official behind-the-scenes companion. Oh, nice. Oh, sweet. So it's like all kinds of stuff about the making of it and all the references in it and... Oh, man, this looks beautiful. Look at this. And it's even, like, in the style of those old behind-the-scenes books that they used to have back in the back in the day, you know? Oh, this is amazing. I didn't even know this existed, actually. <laughs> but I, uh, I love Stranger Things. I can't wait for it to come back. But, uh... Wow. Oh, that's... Okay. That's great. So when you get to the other half, it says now entering upside down, and it's upside down. <laughs> Whoops. Oh. Uh, what, what all just fell out? I don't know where all that stuff came from. Oh, hold on. Hold on a second. Ugh. That, that's just trippy. I turned the book upside down. All this stuff flies out. So we got a thing about semaphore code. <laughs> and I'm guessing a poster of some kind. Oh, sweet. 
Nice. Look at, okay, so on the back, got a coffee stain and some notes. And then on this side, we got a map of Hawkins and like centers of activity. That is so cool. Which I think is a replica of the the map they use in the show. So it looks like this is uh, this is all strictly the first season, and I like how it's actually all the tears in the cover are part of the design, which is very cool. I like that. They give you that old school look, and I think if uh, if we even take it out of the cover. Yeah, it has this old school look. I, I love how everything Stranger Things has this retro vibe to it. It's so cool. And then, oh, nice. Oh, no, it's actually season two as well because it has uh, that dude. Yeah, very nice. Wow. Well, that's going to be uh, quite entertaining to go through. Holy shit. Turn it upside down to get to the upside down parts. Did I go the wrong way? I went the wrong way. Hold on, it's over here. Oh, is it just, a, maybe it's just a section in the middle that's upside down. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, and then it and then it goes back. <sighs> anyway, cool book. <sighs> Here we go. And uh, and very cool Blu-rays, most of which I hadn't already bought for myself like an idiot because I waited so long to open your package. <laughs> well, I guess. Uh, Someone will be getting some presents. Maybe Rosie, actually. Rosie would probably enjoy having her own... She loves the Spider-Man movies, so I'm sure she would enjoy having her own. What I'll do is I'll just put this in here somewhere. There we go. Beautiful. Check it out. All the cool stuff. Thank you very much, Morgan. That's uh, that's awesome, dude. And it's just, you know, sorry again that it took me so bloody long to get around to doing the package opening. King of procrastination right here. Anyway, thank you very much, uh, Morgan, and thank you to you for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time. So until then, big thanks to my Patreon sponsors. Be sure to catch me on Twitch. I stream there just about every day. And I'll see you next time. Until then, sayonara.